guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing this makeup. So you're gonna see me create this look. I'm using all Kiko products. Kiko got in touch with me and asked if I would like to create a video for them. Obviously I said yes, because I've seen tons of you guys asking me to do a review of Kiko makeup. To celebrate 20 years in the industry, Kiko are releasing capsule collections every single month from March. This is May's capsule and the products are called Active Fluo. But they are these amazing neon pencils and these gorgeous lipsticks. So it's all about kind of being quite experimental with your makeup again, which suits me because I was kind of stuck in a neutral rut, I suppose. The nude lip rut, I'm sure most of us could call it. So I was really, really excited because it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, isn't it? These products have a special neon quality to them, which I will show you guys close to the end of the video. What happens is basically, the look itself is completely wearable and then underneath a black light or a UV light, these products totally shine neon, like it's crazy, it's so cool. If you'd like to see how I created this look, please stay tuned. So, the first thing I'm going to do is my base. I have here the Kiko Milano Active Flow Primer and this is a mattifying face base. It is colourful, so look like bright orange. So I was really intrigued by this, but then I read on the box that as soon as you start putting it on, like it's like bright. But as soon as you start rubbing it in, the colour goes away. And I'm just using it in the centre of my face, just to mattify everything down, and then my forehead as well. So I've kind of left the sides of my face free of product because I quite like being dewy, as you all know. The foundation I'm going to use is the Kiko Skin Tone Foundation. This has an SPF of 15 and it's a an highlighting liquid foundation. So it says to shake it first and then I'm just going to pump it out onto my hand. I just put a fair bit on and then I'm just going to apply this with a beauty blender all over. Mmm. And I'm going to go right over my lips as I always do. Colour is actually quite nice. The shade I'm using is Neutral 40. It actually is matching into my neck quite nicely. Obviously I've just been away so I'm a wee bit tanned and I've got a little bit of fake tan still left on. Coverage is probably medium but I'm building it up a little bit. It definitely is luminous which I like. That looks really pretty and it is covering my spots. It's nice and yellow toned which is what I usually use so it is covering up my redness really nicely. I have used the full three pumps, now that's all of it on my face. Blends super easily, it's not separating on my skin or anything like that. It actually looks pretty natural, but still got good coverage. Next I'm going to go in with the Kiko Natural Concealer in the shade 03. And I'm just going to use this underneath my eyes. My cupid's bow, all the, all the usual spots. And then I'm actually going to use a tiny touch just on any blemishes. Cover them up, you know. Pat that in with the beauty blender as well. I suppose that does actually kind of go with the foundation quite nicely because the foundation's pretty natch. Now I'm just going to sweep some powder underneath my eyes just to set that. And I'll do the same thing on my forehead and my, around my mouth. That looks nice. Very fresh. Let's put some bronzer on. So I'm going to use my Kiko Flawless Fusion Bronzer Powder. And this is a good test of the foundation to see if the bronzer goes on smoothly without powdering all over because that is something I really like to do. I think the finish is really pretty. The bronzer's gone on smoothly, thank goodness. And now I'm just gonna change my brush to a slightly smaller brush and I'm just gonna do sides of my nose as usual. That is a nice base. So basically I have a stockpile of these eyeshadows. This is the Water, Water Eyeshadow in the shade 200. I'm gonna use it as a highlight. So I get my little brush, pick it up, do you see that? So this is the Kiko Eyeshadow 200. These went pretty viral a little while ago to use as a highlighter because it is like a total wet looking highlight. And I don't know why I've not used it in a while, but wow, it's beautiful. How crazy is that? 
So I'm just bringing it right up here. Keep as well. Oh my god. And then I'm going to swap over to a little eyeshadow brush. And we're going to tin man the nose. I'm just going to really quickly hit this blush pan. This is the shade Fusion Trio Blush in the shade 03. It's a really cute pink. It's like a trio of colours. It reminds me of like a shimmer brick. But it's all matte. Maybe like a semi-matte. And we're just going to brighten up the cheeks. And I like to do this after highlight because it just kind of ties everything together. And I'm just using the Kiko number 10 brush. This would be a really good brush for contouring actually. Now I'm going to really quickly pop off and do my brows and my eyeshadow primer and then I'll be back in a hot sec. I did it. So now I have my eyebrows on, we're going to do our eye makeup. So I'm going to zoom you in. Okay, that's fine. So I've got some cool stuff to play with. The first thing is the Active Fluo eyeshadow palette and it's Kiko by Arthur Arbesser. Ar Scottish people can't say names right. So if you have a look, the eyeshadow palette is super bright. So we're going to use a little bit of this. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bronzer from earlier and I'm going to start building up my crease. So this is a really good way if you don't have a transition shade in your palette, you can just use your bronzer because it's always going to be a really nice warm taupe. And as long as your bronzer is matte, I should say that, and this one is. I'm just using the side of the brushes to help blend that out a little bit. Just the use, you guys, you know, you know the drill. Window wiper movements. That's nice. See, that's a really soft crease, which if you imagine just a bit of mascara, and that's a really beautiful day look. But we're not doing that today, no, 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 sir. And I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to buff a little bit of this underneath my eye, and this is a good trick to stop any creasing happening. If you just buff your bronzer right under the eye, it gives the illusion of a really soft shadow. It also stops your under eyes from creasing. And straight away that gives really nice dimension to the eyes. It's a really good starting point for an eye makeup. Now I'm going to go in with this shade here. It's just called shade number two in the palette. So it's just a really nice kind of tangerine colour. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to start building that up in my crease. I think this look's going to end up being like a really pretty sunset type. And then I'm kind of taking that shade and I'm going onto the lid ever so slightly. And then I'm going to use the side of the brush just to start buffing that out. Now I'm going to go in with a slightly more dense brush and this pink shade. And I'm going to do pretty much the same thing but just more onto the lid and more kind of focused in right on that crease. Pigment's good in these eyeshadows and they're blending really easily. And these colours are actually super pretty on green eyes and blue eyes specifically because they will like really really contrast. And then obviously pink will contrast with the with brown eyes really nicely too. Now I'm going to go in with a smaller brush again that's got a nice kind of point to it. And I'm going to go in with the pink and the purple kind of mixed together and we're going to go underneath our eyes and start blowing that out. I'm actually just going to go straight in with the purple. And then back into our brush from earlier and we're going to use the pink to really blow that out. Okay, I'm actually going to go in with the purple now onto the lid a little bit. And then I'm going into my big fluffy eyeshadow brush with the tangerine colour and I'm just going to blend all that out, make sure it's super blown out. And that, my friends, is as bright as I'm going to go with the eyes because I'm actually doing a pink lip tonight. I know, I'm crazy, I've lost it, I've officially lost it. But first we're going to go in back with our highlighting water eyeshadow and I'm going to pop this in our corner. And the reason it's called a water eyeshadow is because you can use them wet or dry. And I'm just using it dry and it's super pigmented. So if you were to use it wet, it would be crazy. And then I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. Look at that glow though. Flipping heck. Now I'm going to use the Kiko Unmeasurable Length Mascara in black, obviously. And we're going to start building up these lashes. giving me long bottom lashes. Always the mascaras with really weird brushes that end up being really good. Ah! 
Oh, I poked myself in the eye. Oh my god. Too ballsy with the mascara and then I poked myself in the freaking eye. Everything's gonna be okay. But just be careful when you're doing your mascara, guys. Let's zoom you out. I'm gonna quickly stick some lashes on and then we're gonna do our lips, which is probably the thing I'm most excited for because A, I've not done pink lips for years on YouTube. I just never do a pink lip. And B, it's not just a lipstick. It does something really cool. It kind of freaked me out, but at the same time, I'm obsessed. So, two seconds. Lashes are on. Yeah, let's do this. I'm excited, I'm excited to show you guys. So basically, in the stuff I got sent, I got sent these three pencils, one of which is black, one is a kind of bright pink, and then one's more of a cool pink. So one's a warm pink and one's a cool pink. And I didn't really think much of it until I read the neon thing. And then I was like, hmm, I wonder how bright these really are. So I'm gonna do this lip first. Oh, and I should mention, it also came with this Active Fluo Neon Nail Lacquer. And I was like, hmm, so I put it on one of my nails, and it still looked normal. I was like, well, what on earth is this? So I'll show you the lipstick and then I'll show you what it does. So I'm going to twist it up from the bottom. It's a non-sharpening pencil. We'll just do our lips. The lip liners are super creamy. They almost remind me of the Urban Decay lip liners that are kind of creamy but then they dry down super like matte and waterproof and then we're going to chuck this lipstick on so that lip, that pencil is called 01 and this lipstick is called 01 as well so they match it's definitely very matte perfect and then there's me with a bright pink lip so it's a nice, it's a nice pink, it doesn't make your teeth look yellow feel quite like 70s vibe with the pink eyes and the pink lipsticks. I did all this yesterday, I put my, I like, I practiced, I kind of did a little bit of the makeup, tried it out, saw what, so kind of saw what I thought, and then I painted my one nail and put my lipstick on and I was like, why does it say neon? Like, it is bright, but I'm not sure. And then, in my little box I saw this, and this is basically a blue light. Now I'm going to try and make this room as dark as possible and show you guys what happens under blue light, like UV light. Turn off all my lights. See how dark it is. So this is as dark as I can get in my room. We turn on my little light. <laughs> can you see this? Unfortunately I don't have a brighter light, but if you can see, oh it's struggling to focus. Look, I'm here, I'm here. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, you can see me now. So, this blue light basically makes, it's like UV. Whoa, 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 blah, blah, blah. And it makes them glow like white. It's amazing, it's amazing. So I'm gonna show you, swatch these. So there's a black pencil, and they are all super creamy. So the black one you could use, like it says, it says lip and body pencil. So imagine you were going to like a festival. Like I wish I had this for Coachella, honestly, it would have been so sick. But imagine you're going to like a festival or something and you just whack this out, it's crazy. So I'm just getting some swatches in the back of my hands and you'll see the difference in the two pink tone lipsticks because the one I've got on is, I, I believe for me it's a lot more wearable because the other one's such like a cool tone pink. If I get really close, oh you can see it there. So look, the black shines like blue and then these go super super bright, it's crazy. And then my nail shines neon as well so even like the nail polish is sick i mean imagine you had these on in the club and everyone thinks that you're like pretty just like pretty makeup and then your lips start shining freaking uv it's amazing such a cool idea so you guys that is the finished look i hope you liked it it's something a little bit different from me just because of the pink lip honestly i never do a pink lip but when i tried it on i actually quite liked it i think the last time i tried to do a pink lip i had bright hair and it was all just a little bit a little bit too much for me. I'm quite a jazzy person. There's only so much jazz one person can take. But yeah, super cool idea with all this. I was playing with it for ages. I was like, Jack, come here. As always, I will link everything I use down below. Thank you so, so much to Kiko for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much to you guys for watching it. And apart from that, I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.